Hi everyone and welcome to another video on my channel. Today's video is a little bit different from the usual content you will find on my channel. I am a huge fan of vlogs, so I thought I would give it a try and add a little variety to my content. From the very start, I wanted the channel to be a place where people can relax and forget their worries for a moment. I think vlogs are a great way of achieving this, so let's dive into it. When I was younger, I used to watch TV and see adverts for toys that every one of us wanted, but sadly only a few of us could afford. One of them was actually Iron Beats. Ah, uh, I really wanted this, but like most people, I could only dream of this toy, it was very expensive. Some time ago, my friend and I were talking about Iron Beats, as she has found many kits in the local shop and has started making beautiful things. I really liked what she was doing and we started to talk about how it had been a dream of ours as children to be able to make something with iron beads. One day she gave me some sets of colors and I was excited. I immediately started searching the internet for inspiration and then I had an idea. I didn't want to choose simple design, so I decided to make something with my original characters. Remember how pixel icons used to be a popular avatar format on DeviantArt? Well, in real life they are not animated like the Daily Prophet from Harry Potter, but I wanted to create something similar. At first, I wanted to make the whole character in the form of a more complicated chibi, but I soon realized that it would be very difficult to stack them on a plastic panel without a prior plan for laying out the iron beads in pixels. Also, this is my first time with iron beads, so I didn't want it to be something complicated because if it didn't work out when I ironed it, I would be very sad and disappointed with the amount of wasted beads. With time to make eyes and face, I changed my plans to make something like a bookmark. And that's how this came out. These are the eyes of one of my characters, Ines, who I have drawn several times on my channel. I have to admit that it is a bit thick to use as a bookmark, but it makes a great background decoration when I take photos of my drawings. Did anyone notice a spoiler at the end of my last video about what I have created today? Let me know in the comments. Also, tell me if you ever dreamed of iron beads as a child. I still wanted to make a full chibi, so I decided to simplify it as much as possible. I used references I found on Pinterest and managed to create a mini chibi version of one of my characters which you could get to know better in my last video when I created the character reference sheet. The symmetry proved to be a huge help. As you may have noticed on the bookmark, I created my character's face from a slight profile. Here I decided to do something simple, small and straightforward, so I went for something like a keychain. You can even see how I made a place at the top to attach a ribbon. Although I think I should reinforce it somehow because I think the durability of this piece is very low and I wouldn't dare carry it around in my handbag for fear of damaging it. I have to brag to you because I work with my friend who is a rollerblading instructor. He started teaching some time ago and is also growing on social media. I am very happy for his success and support him as much as I can in what he is doing. And most importantly with mutuality. In addition to some artwork for t-shirts, we also made two designs for stickers for his students, which you can see on the screen. His idea was to make two different stickers, one with a mermaid and one with a dragon. I'm really happy with the end result, do you like it? 
In late July and August, two of my close friends had birthdays, so it's obvious I had to prepare some gifts. Let's start with a close friend of mine who I met on DeviantArt many years ago. Recently, my friend decided to get back into drawing, especially traditional art, so I wanted to motivate her even more. We were chatting the other day that one of my favorite shops where I stock my art supplies was not near where she lives, so I wanted to gift her something from that shop. I knew she had been using a huge box as a light box for many years. I used to use a self-made light box myself in the form of a box, light and glass from the fridge, so I knew it wasn't a convenient solution. Out of curiosity, I bought the same LiPad once and it was a really good decision, so I was sure my friend would be satisfied too. It's lightweight, has three levels of light control and can be used with a power bank, so it's easy to carry around. What's more, I really wanted her to try out the alcohol markers on my recommendation as well, because of the special appeal of their brush tip, which is softer than that of the Ohuhu markers, but harder than that of the Copic markers. I choose four different color sets. I wouldn't have been myself if I hadn't added some sweets to the package. Given that I had to send the gifts in a package, I couldn't pack it as nicely as I would have liked. Despite this, I decided to use some washi tapes, sticky notes and stickers to make it look as cute as possible. I was able to wrap my next gift for my other friend completely differently. Firstly, I was able to give it in a person and secondly, it's very small. Last year I gave my friend a more mixed gift and this year I wanted it to be a damned package, mainly related to K-pop and Korean cosmetics, which she loves. My friend is a huge fan of Bang Chen from Stray Kids and as I knew she hadn't bought the album yet, I decided to give her a version featuring a solo member of the band. Her order also included a cute sticker with the band's logo. I also did a little shopping on Yes Style and I chose a chocolate sheet mask a Waterfit Sun Serum, a lip mask and a lip tint from Romant for her. I specifically choose a tint color that suits her and that she chooses most often. I wrapped the gift in clear foil and added a pretty ribbon. Something was missing, so I added some colorful flower stickers. By the way, I really love making gifts for others. I also have a lot of fun wrapping them myself. If I had to open such a nicely wrapped gift myself, I would be sad that I had to destroy the wrapping in order to open it. I'm sure many of you have that too. For the rest, I have a reserve of stickers, washi tapes and other gift wrapping items for the next 100 years. Do you like how I wrapped this gift? I am also curious, do you prefer to give or receive gifts? Let me know in the comments below this video. It's become a bit of tradition that apart from me, my mom also gives a small gift from herself. We say that my friends are like her daughters too. Actually, another gift is from my mom, but I am always the one who has to wrap it all up and write a small message. My package was K-pop and Korean makeup damned and my mom's was cat damned. My mom's gift was a matching bag to me with a cat print, a cat purse for small items that can be clipped to the waistband of her trousers or backpack, sticky notes with cats on them and a less cat damned item sweets with pandas on them. To celebrate a friend's birthday, the three of us went to a brand new cafe on our city. 
I could live in it. Look at those beautiful looking drinks and waffles. Have I given you a taste? That would be it for today's video. Let me know if you like this form of content. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. See you soon. Bye.